Wow, morning YouTube. Just warming the bike up. Switch it off in a second. We're gonna make the spare fuel cans. Wow, morning everybody. Well, Roach's motorcycle project uh, goes merrily on. Today what we're gonna do is make the additional fuel uh, for the bike. So an extra four liters is what I'm gonna be carrying. I looked at purpose-made fuel cans that bolt to the back of the panniers and uh, they're brilliant, yeah, absolutely brilliant. The, the kind of carrier, the rack itself, they were £38 each, so that's uh, times two. Uh, that's, um, he says, 70, 16, 76 pounds, I think. And then you've got to buy the cans as well, which are another sort of 10, 15, 20 pounds. So you could probably be looking at about 100 pounds for the project to have extra fuel bolted onto your motorcycle. So what I've decided to do today is to make my own. Um, my total spend, the kind of raw materials, which was the uh, steel that I picked, came in at about uh, £7.36, I think, for a metre of it, which was more than enough to make what I wanted. The uh, petrol cans, the really sort of heavy-duty plastic, made in Germany, two-litre cans with a little kind of filler nozzle on them. Uh, I think I got these for £12.99, but I have seen them uh, on uh, eBay for um, almost £20, you know, so you kind of have to shop around. But I've got the 2 litre fuel containers. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make my own brackets very simply out of the material that I just showed you. A little bit of sponge in the bottom just to... Um, you know, stop the can getting damaged and hopefully uh, stop it leaking. And then uh, the can just fits into the bracket. We're going to bolt that onto the motorcycle and there's a strap that goes over the top to hold it in place. So my total spend has been about 35 pounds probably as opposed to uh, um, well over a hundred, but uh, I, I simply didn't have a hundred quid to spend on additional fuel. So I'll bring you in a bit closer, talk you through how I actually made this, and then we're going to fit them on the bike. Okay, so here's everything that I've used to make these cans for you. Like I say, I went to um, kind of B&Q and just bought some of this. Um, I think they use it for joining pieces of timber together in, you know, when they make roofing eaves and stuff like that. Um, but it came in a metre long strip. So very simply, all I've done is I've just bent it into the required shape. So I've measured the container, bent it uh, um, to the right sizes. And in the bottom, I've just put a piece of sponge. The sponge, believe it or not, I think Funky Prepper gave me a, a half a dozen strips of this about I don't know, five years ago. And it's just been sitting in my uh, workshop. It's just a uh, bit of sponge, about 10, 15 mil thick, adhesive on the back, and I've just cut it to size, stuck it in the bottom, so that um, the fuel bottle has got something soft to sit on. You know, what I'm trying to do is to avoid it getting damaged and leaking. The other thing that I've done is I had some old straps. So this is a kind of quick release strap. Uh, had it for years. Just um, gave it a wash. And that's what I'm going to be using to uh, retain the bottle in the carrier. And then what I'm going to do is just bolt the carrier to the uh, motorcycle panel. Uh, obviously, um, I've just given it a couple of coats. I've sort of rubbed it down with some uh, sandpaper and just given it a couple of coats of uh, Hammerite. And that is as complicated as it is. Two extra fuel um, carriers, four litres of fuel, total cost. £36. This is all I've used really to make the bracket and the extra fuel um, carriers. I used a hammer, put the steel in the vise once it was cut to the right size and uh, just just hammered it, hammered the um, 90 degree um, turns in it uh, in a, in a vise. I've got penny washers, I've got nuts and bolts, uh, I need a cordless drill and I need some drills. Um, I'm using a centre punch and that really is all the tools that I've used to make it. 
So hopefully everyone can see how I've um, put the strap through. I've literally, you know, these two holes I've just kind of joined together. So I've drilled another couple of holes and run through them with a file. Same up there. Uh, strap goes behind the bracket, around the bottom and then through, which means that the fixings are going to go through the strap. Okay, so I finally found out the capacity of these uh, panniers. And the panniers are, depending on who you believe, 26 or 27 litres. So they're not exactly the biggest thing in the world. So um, I'm using this rivet just as a locator. And I'm going to line it up with the lock mechanism. So we're probably going to have, I think, one there. And maybe one here. Okay, I'm going to mark the centre of those, put a little punch in there, and then I'm going to be drilling two holes, and that's how we're going to... Okay, so that's our bracket fitted. What I'm going to do now is just put the container in. Two litre fuel container. It's got the filling nozzle on the back. Slide it in place, can put the strap through it and then just do the container up. So I think even if uh, it gets loose and I don't notice it, um, hopefully it won't uh, fall out and uh, I won't lose it and that is our extra two litres of fuel I would have liked to put it a little bit higher but the lock just interferes with that it's pretty much it it's about an inch lower than the bottom of the pannion which I don't think is the end of the world but that gives me four litres of extra fuel that takes the bike range now up to um, at or about 300 miles which um, I think is absolutely brilliant not going to have a problem in the world I've also got uh, plenty of spare fuel for my petrol cooker and uh, I think the world's a beautiful place so now I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side So just one more thing I want to drop in before I um, leave you. I wanted a universal rack holder on the back just to make the rack a little bit bigger platform to put a bag or uh, whatever on. And um, again, universal rack be about 145 pounds. I didn't have 145 pounds again. Funky Prepper gave me this uh, uh, this um, A4 um, brochure stand some time ago. And we both thought it might come in handy and uh, it's been in my little scrap pile for years finally got around to using it and a uh, universal rack holder for i think eight pounds 99 which was the cost of that little spray. job takes us a step closer to getting away on our trip i have got some more parts coming for the bike so i've got hand guards and a few other bits and pieces that i'm just waiting for um, I've got a few sponsors coming on board and they're giving me some uh, kit and equipment to uh, give away to your good selves. So there's a little twist coming for uh, everyone that's subscribed and everyone that supports me on this um, journey. I think this is where I say um, please thumbs up, share, like, subscribe and if you're watching on Facebook please follow. As always, 
any comments love to hear them back soon